There are other kinds of physical changes that occur with water and other substances. When water boils, it turns into a gas, water vapor. But while evaporation occurs only at the surface of a liquid, boiling causes a liquid to turn into a gas below the surface. The bubbles in this boiling water are made up of water vapor. When a liquid boils, the molecules that make up the liquid are pulled apart to become a gas. Boiling is different from evaporation in another way. While evaporation occurs at different temperatures, each kind of liquid boils at a specific temperature called its boiling point. For water, the boiling point at sea level is around 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Matter can change from one phase to another in still other ways. As we saw earlier, a solid can change into a liquid when it's heated. The temperature at which this change happens is called the solid's melting point. The melting points of different kinds of rock are very high, on average about 1200 degrees Celsius. The melting point of ice is much lower. At sea level, ice melts at just above zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero degrees Celsius is also the freezing point of water because at sea level, when the temperature goes below this level, water will turn into solid ice. Most liquids take up less space when they freeze because their molecules are bound more tightly together when they turn into solids. But water is an exception. When water freezes, the ice that forms has more volume. Here, for example, 150 milliliters of water turned into about 160 milliliters of ice. The reason ice has greater volume is that when water freezes, its molecules lock together to form rigid but hollow rings. These hollow rings take up more space than the water molecules did when they were liquid. There are other unusual exceptions to how matter changes from one phase to another. Dry ice, for instance, is the solid phase of carbon dioxide. It is so cold that it causes water vapor in the air to condense into a fine white mist. But when it is exposed to warm air, dry ice doesn't melt. Rather than changing into a liquid, the solid carbon dioxide changes directly into an invisible gas. When matter changes directly from a solid to a gas, or from a gas to a solid, such a change is called sublimation.